Farmers are staging a tractorcade in Swindon in protest over the tsunami of challenges that are going to be unsurvivable for many. Farmers Weekly joined the protesters to gauge the barometer of how this would be received by the public. We're really in a, a deep crisis and so the reason we're doing these protests, as, well protests or demonstrations, whatever you want to call them, is to take our message to the cities, to the people and say to people, you know, this is under threat. If you don't help us and save us, we'll be gone for good and you'll be eating imported food and our countryside will, will fall into either housing or, or scrub. Travel today support British farming. It's going downhill. Nobody supports the farming industry anymore. And at the end of the day, British farming's where you're going to get your process and every, all the food and everything from. It's, it's not good. It's, it's not good for anyone, really. We're all, it's costing so much money for us farmers now where you're going to start running out of farmers and there's going to be no income from this country. The biggest threat to my livelihood is an import of mass-produced um, beef and, and lamb and other sort of meat products from other countries where they're able to use um, chemicals and things that we aren't using here. And I don't want to use here either, that's, that's the other thing, you know, even if we were allowed to use these things I wouldn't be using them because that's against the ethics of sustainable farming which is what I'm practicing. I'm attending the, the protest today because of the unjust rulings they're putting upon ag British agriculture, trying to make us do things which we know are not right, uh, and when the EA aren't putting their own house in order. That's the main thing that annoyed me about the UNVZ rules being administered the way they are. As the tractors snaked around Swindon, there was overwhelming support from the public. People stopped and cheered and took photos and videos on their mobile phones, while motorists beat their horns in support. I've now done lots of tractor demos around the country and the response from the public has always brought me to tears and spurred me on to do more. This is our heritage and our identity and we need to fight to preserve it for our future and for our children's future.